Hey guys, Decaf13 here, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Persona 5. In the last episode, um, we just kind of went on with our normal lives. We took another request for uh, the mementos area and cleared that up. Um, we took our midterm exams, which I feel we did pretty decently on. Um, and then we also ran into a strange man who seemed to be stalking on, sort of. His name's Yusuke Kitagawa, under the tutelage of the artist Madarame, who we've been hearing about in Mementos, is apparently a really bad guy, as well as from Sai in uh, Interrogation, of course. But, uh, yeah, tomorrow we're going to go to an art exhibit that Yusuke and Madarame are putting on, so let's head to bed. Ichirusai Madarame, an infinite font of ideas, huh? I had a blurb on the ticket, but it, se it seems this Madarame is actually an amazing artist. Some of his pieces might be worth looking at after all. You know, let's sleep. <laughs> all these fucking ad and on posts. Trying to steal an assets. What is this line for? Oh, that exhibition must be opening today. It's really packed. Wanna come back another time? I want it, but it's so expensive. Maybe we should take out a loan. I wanna see that. Let's go together sometime. Someone sees you, so don't stick your head out too much, all right? <laughs> He's already half out of the you bag. Came. Oh, hey, Yusuke. Um, yeah. You really came. <laughs> What'd you expect when you left us those tickets? Yeah, I mean, if you give us free shit, we're gonna use it. Make sure that you don't get in the way of the other visitors. Oh, thanks. Come now, I'll show you around. <laughs> I'd like to speak more about the picture I'd like to draw, too. Well, see you guys later. <laughs> Good luck, On. Will Lady On be all right? <laughs> what if he drags her behind some painting and tries something funny? Calm down, Morgana. I told you not to come out. Yeah, just stay, stay in the bag, you fucking cat. Are we really gonna appreciate the fine arts? Can't we just go home? <laughs> Let's learn about Madarame. I guess we should do a quick pass through at once. Uh. Which way are we supposed to start? Oh, there's Madarame. <laughs> it's that old man from the other day. We continue to be truly surprised by your imagination. You have such expansive styles. It's hard to believe that it all stems from one person. There it is. So yeah, he... Yeah, because it's all different styles. So obviously he's stealing from his students and passing it off as his own. Where in the world does all your inspiration come from? Well, it is rather difficult to put into words. They naturally well up from within my heart, like bubbles rising one after another in the spring. Naturally, you say. What's important is to distance oneself from worldly desires, such as money and fame. Yeah, okay, buddy. My atelier is a modest shack, but it is more than enough to pursue true beauty. A shack? I see. So the act of emptying one's mind gives rise to inner beauty. Still, to think we could hear the word shack coming from the great artist Madarame. You would understand if you saw it. <laughs> Wasn't the word shack something? Madarame-san is actually here? Over there! I'm so glad I came on opening day. Jesus. Hey, okay, stop pushing. There's way too many people. Well, we're not gonna get any investigating done like this. I'm getting crushed. I tried to disconnect my uh, hard drive when I was recording. Oops. Anyways, we gotta head for the exit. Don't die on us, alright? <laughs> I didn't know there were so many types of Japanese art. 
Usually, one concentrates on their own style. However, Sensei creates all this by himself. He's special. There you are, Yusuke. Sensei! Ah, the girl from yesterday. Are you enjoying the exhibit? I don't know how to put it into words, but it's really amazing. You're sensing something from the artwork. That alone is enough to give us artists satisfaction. I hope this becomes a wonderful piece, Yusuke. Well then, if you'll excuse me... You'd imagine artists would be difficult to approach. He seems really friendly. Indeed. Hmm. Oh, this is it! The painting I wanted to see in person! This one? I guess it's the painter's anger? I'm not sure, but I sense this... strong frustration from it. To think such a cheerful and gentlemanly person could make such a piece. Ooh, Yusuke's starting to think, isn't he? Something wrong? Don't mind me. There are better pieces than this one. Come now, this way. Hey! Hmm. Ah, that old lady totally elbowed me. Poor Ryuji. But thanks to that, I remember now. Remember what? About what? Well, let me get to it. It's about a post online. Uh oh. Here, look at this. What do you got? Why'd you leave without me? It's too crowded. Ry Ryuji almost got killed by old people. You got it all wrong. We got dragged into this huge crowd and... Anyways, you gotta look at this too. I haven't seen it yet. This post might be about Madarame. What's it say? A master of the Japanese arts is plagiarizing his pupil's work. Only his public face is shown on TV. Plagiarizing? Hmm. I didn't think much of it when I first saw it, but hearing Shaq and Madarame triggered it. Why Shaq? His treatment of the pupils who live with him is awful. He teaches nothing and bosses them around. Hmm. He treats them inhumanely, as if disciplining a dog. Abuse on top of plagiarism, hmm? Jeez. If this is real, it'll be a huge scandal. I wonder if Kitagawa-kun posted this. I mean, he is a pupil of his. Hmm. Who knows? It's anonymous and all. That's true. In that case, it's possible the Madarame we heard about in Mementos is referring to the same one. Hmm. A man like that doing such a thing? I wonder if we can ask that shadow from earlier about this. Can we just go back and talk to a shadow? Oh, actually, we just need to talk to him in reality. Yeah. And how are we gonna go about that? Are we gonna explain it all, starting with Mementos? Besides, if we make a move out in the open, there's the possibility that Madarame will find out. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Right. Hey, what do you think about Madarame? Doesn't he seem suspicious? Hmm, he does. I know, right? This all fits way too well to just be a coincidence. If this post is legit, ain't this the kind of target we've been waiting for? You're right. Yeah, but is it really true? By the way, what did you do about the whole modeling thing? Kitagawa-kun gave me his contact info and the address to his sensei's atelier. Hey. He said he lives there, right? Perfect timing. Let's try going tomorrow. We're off to Madarame's house right after school. Huh? You want me to model tomorrow? <laughs> this is too sudden. What? We're just gonna go talk to Kitagawa. Oh, that's what you meant. <laughs> okay. In any case, we need to find out if that rumor about Madarame is true. If it is, 
This might just be exactly what we need. So I'm guessing we're not going to be able to do anything today. Well then. Yeah, no nothing today. Alright, fine. Well then. I feel like I have some... Not, not as much free time in this game. Ooh, it's back up to six and five. Oh yes. Oh yeah, the great artist Madarame is holding an exhibition in Shibuya right now, isn't he? I've gone to see his works a number of times. Goodness, are they magnificent. The moment I saw them, I knew he was something else. By the way, you seem far removed from the arts, Kazunakun. Of course I do. Yeah, and I am. Question. Do you know who created the high the piece which is which sold for the highest price back in the 20th century? Uh, no, but I'm gonna look that up real quick. Seems you know a thing or two after all. That piece was purchased for the equivalent of 18 billion yen, and it was sold for even more later. However, since the turn of the 21st century, a new record has been set practically every year. serious amount of passion and money into art. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't mind having a painting or two of myself. A painting or two myself, haha. <laughs> hey, hey. Seems like art can make you make you a tidy sum. Let's see with our own eyes whether or not the accusations of him stealing art are true. You're meeting with Lady On and the others at the train station, right? Let's go and class lets out. Hmm. He's going by train. It's any different from how I get home from school, you know? The train's the fastest way to go. Plus, we can bring pets on here. No. Hey, who are you calling a pet? Dude, be quiet. We didn't pay the pet fare. I'm the one guiding you to your destination. You should be calling me master. Hey. Ooh, kitty. Uh, shoot. Is that your pet, mister? I heard it meowing. Uh, it's a stuffed animal. Yeah, it's just a toy. It meows when you press on its head. Hey! You heard it, Takya. Press on its head. This is ridic- <sighs> Meow. <laughs> Wowee, again, again! <laughs> Time to button mash. <laughs> That's so funny, I wanna hear it again. I just threw up in my mouth. Seriously? Next up is Shibuya. I'm sorry, Morgana. I thought it was funny. <laughs> oh, this is our stop. We'll see you later. Bye bye. <laughs> We're all disappointed by that. So which line do we gotta transfer to? Doesn't look like there are any stations close to that close by that address. If anything, this is the closest station. For real? What? Then we gotta walk the rest of the way? What kind of phantom thief takes the train and then walks to their destination? Stop your complaining. It's supposedly a shack, but this is the neighborhood he lives in. As expected of a famous artist. Okay, let's Looks like get the fastest going. route to get to this let's get to the station square, then go to Central Street. Oh, no. So I 
head on over to Central Street. Residential area past this. Oh. Suguru Kamashita, former Olympian, teacher at Shujin Academy. Oh, it's it's time for more uh, totally evil bad guy uh, dialogue. Reason for turning himself in is uh, a heavy conscience, huh? Human mind doesn't change that easily, let alone their natural temperament. Shujin Academy. Seems doubtful. Perhaps I'll have someone look into it. Just in case. Hmm. That dude's like 100% shady. Is that it? We're at the right address. Hmm. The door plate does say Matarame. Uh, you ring the bell. <laughs> Me? The walls won't collapse when I do, will they? Someone just ring the damn bell. No one sneeze or we'll blow this house down, okay? <laughs> Who is it? Sensei is currently... Um, it's Takamaki. I'll be right out. People really do live here. Hmm. takamaki -san. You two are here as well? <laughs> Gee, don't sound so disappointed when you say it, Yusuke. Hey. <laughs> yeah, hey. Sorry, but uh, we ain't here to talk about the modeling thing. There's something we gotta ask you. Is it true Matarame's plagiarizing stuff? He's abusing people too, yeah? Are you serious? <laughs> okay, he's, uh, he's not happy about that. We read about it online. This? <laughs> Preposterous! Not only is the plagiarism impossible, but abuse? If he hated children so much to harm them, he would never allow pupils into his home. And I'm the one residing here and studying under him. I'm saying it's not true, so it's beyond doubt. You might be lying about it. That... Oh. That is utter rubbish. I don't think it is. I had no family when Sensei took me in and raised me into what you see now. If you continue to ridicule the man I owe my life to, you will rue this day! Oh boy. You really think that? Yusuke. Madarame was home. What's the matter? I heard you yelling. These people are slandering you with baseless rumors. Forgive them, Yusuke. They must have heard some bad rumors and came in worry for their friend's safety. <sighs> Understood, Sensei. Well, even I doubt that a cranky old man like myself could be liked by everyone. Hmm. He's good at putting on a face. That's not what we meant. I'm sorry to have butt in on your conversation. However, I do have neighbors around. Won't you please keep it down? Now, if you'll excuse me. <clears throat> that was discourteous of me. I'm sorry. I know. I think you'll be able to believe in Sensei if you saw that painting. It's his maiden work. As well as his most representative piece. It's titled Sayuri. Hmm. Sayuri? This was the painting that inspired me to become an artist. It's so beautiful. Hmm. That's look pretty nice. I don't know all this fine art stuff, but even I can tell that this is impressive. Hmm. When I first saw you, I felt the same powerful emotion as when I saw this painting. Me? I wish to pursue beauty like this. And I believe drawing you will be part of that pursuit. I implore you, seriously consider my offer. 
I'm sorry that you took the time to come all this way, but I must assist Sensei today. I hope that we can discuss this further another time. If you'll excuse me then. Those two hmm. seem like nice guys, don't they? Maybe the Matarame we heard about in Mementos is a different person. I think we went over this before, but how many different people are named Matarame? Man, right when we thought we found a new target, too. How's the MetaNav? Oh, oh. Hey, the app. What? Was it picking up our conversation? Apparently. This display. It means that Matarame has a palace, too, right? But why? Mm. Matarame, plagiarism, and then Shaq, huh? These seem to be the keywords. For real, though, what the hell's going on? Does an old man like him really have a palace? We have the person's name and the location. All that's left is the what that Matarame mistakes the Shaq for to enter his palace. Hmm. You mean, like how Kamoshida thought the school was his castle? That's right. Let's try saying some things. They can be random guesses. It's a bit sudden, though. Alright, let's... well, we might as well try it. Why don't we start with castle? No. No candidates found. Then, what about prison? No candidates found. Ah, what a pain! We tried two words, Ryuji. Jail, a warehouse, and guidance counseling office. Might as well add farm. What the fuck, Ryuji? No a single hit? Should we hmm. come back another time? A building that's related to artists. If we think from there, what would it be? Hmm. A museum. Oh, got it. <laughs> navigation? Whoa, really? <laughs> cool. So, uh, it's a museum. Damn. Hey, when'd you activate the nav? Na you surprised me. Didn't think, didn't have much of a choice. I think it just happened to get it right. What if I hadn't noticed, then wandered off and got caught by an enemy? Come on. Probably would have figured it out once he started walking on two legs. Uh, hey. So you can, you can slip into the metaverse without realizing it, Morgana? Yep. In a place with minimal cognitive distortion, the differences can be subtle. Forget that. Look. That shack is seriously some kind of museum. Hey. Let's go check it out. It's so extravagant. To the point that it's gaudy. It's a museum, right? This is Matarame's? A palace is a scenery driven by desires. Just like how Kamoshida's palace was a castle. Hmm. Matarame's artwork is on display at museums in reality too, though. His exhibit was popular, and people already respect him. Why would he fantasize about a museum? He got a point. It ain't related to plagiarism or abuse, either. Yeah. Let's try looking around. Racking our brains here won't do us any good. Right. Aside, ain't a museum a must for phantom thieves? Hell yeah. Yeah, definitely. Now that's our Joker. I feel the same. <laughs> but man, just look at that insane crowd. Yes! Well then, it's time we begin our infiltration. Uh, we're gonna have to wait in that gigantic line. Of course not. We're thieves. We're not gonna wait in line. Don't be stupid. We're not going in the front door. There's a high building all around. There's a high wall around the building. We'll just have to find our way up over it then. In any case, let's get going. I think I found it already. Yep. <laughs> yep. This is really how he thinks of that rundown shack. It's overwhelmingly shiny. It's 
just not hitting it. This is that old guy's palace. That's why we're here, right? Come on, let's go check it out. Got some shadows lurking around. I'm not gonna go that way because that's the fucking front door. Security's focused on the front entrance. Good. Let's just head this way then. Skylight's open. I think we can get in here. But it's a pretty far drop. Will we be able to get back out this way? <laughs> Don't worry. I have a rope. I'm our tool specialist, after all. So what's your call, Joker? Wanna head inside? Let's do this. How suspicious. It's quiet. Almost too quiet. Hey, this... It's moving. Come on, we're in a palace. That ain't anything to be freaking out over. The palace reflects its ruler's heart. We may want to check these paintings out. Those are probably the artists he stole the paintings from. I can see it. Hmm? Oh, hey, there's some kind of explanation here. Let's see. Is this someone's name and age? What the hell? That can't be the title of the painting, right? Do you think it's the artist's name? Let's check the other paintings too. I think there might be something important about them. Curious. Oh, next room. This one has a full name. Another. This has got the name and age on the plaque. Hey, this one has a name too. It's kind of creepy seeing all the people on the walls. Focus. Pearl. It's pretty soon. I feel like it's staring at us. famous for having a variety of art styles. But all the portraits on display here look the same. This way, this is way different from what was at the... Wait a sec! Damn it. Ain't this that guy we saw in Mementos? You know, the one who was shit-talking Madarame. Is... Natsuhiko Nakanohara. His name's written on the plaque. Dude, I don't get it. Why is there a painting of him in here? More important, why is his name written under it? You're right. 
Doesn't art usually have like the title of the piece or the artist's name? Hmm, this is quite the mystery. Alright, let's keep looking around for now. That's just an exit sign. I can feel it. I can feel it. Huh? What? No way. Yusuke. Hey. Hey, isn't this a painting of that guy? It says Yusuke Kitagawa. There's no mistaking it. Wait a second. What do you think these paintings are? Madarami's pupils. I think you're right. What? For real? All of them? But it was only Yusuke we went to his place before. This must include former pupils as well. Only one remains now. Taking into account what the Nakano Hara guy said earlier, things are getting clearer. Hmm. Alright, let's keep investigating. We need to, something to further confirm our deductions. This is getting fucking surreal as shit. Seems some kind of pamphlet here. Hmm? What's up, you find something? We should, we're here to investigate, so we should check everything that catches our attention. Before that, though... Treasures. Protect mask. Hey, we have a lockpick. <laughs> Training whip, pearl, and a snuff sole. Check this pamphlet. Mm. Is this a pamphlet? This is getting way too detailed for a freaking palace. Why you bother making something like this? Oh, there's a museum guide on here. Let's take it with us. Oh, map. Yeah, it might even show us the location of the treasure. Nice. That is a possibility. At the very least, it should be a good reference for the scale of this place. Huh? But the map only shows half the museum. I see. He says it's one out of two. Then two. Then the two out of twos. No, the two out of twos just got to be hanging around here somewhere, right? Just how big is this place? Don't worry about that another time. Right now, our objective is looking into Madarame's cognition. We may have to reconsider our plan depending on what we find. I mean, he's got a palace. Seems pretty fishy to me. this? Ah. Hmm. Look at this! The fuck is it? The infinite spring? Oh. I'm guessing those are his pupils. Because he could just keep, keep, keep taking in kids, using them, and then just kicking them out when he's done with them. A conglomerate work of art that the great director Madarame created with his own funds. These individuals must offer their ideas to the director for the rest of their lives. Those who cannot do so have no worth living? Hey, this is most likely about the plagiarism, right? Seems like it. Damn it, what a phony geezer. In other words, his pupils are his property. He doesn't even qualify as an artist if this is true. Mm. He's stealing the ideas from talented students in exchange for securing their livelihood. I wondered about those portraits on display. They must all be his pupils through his cognition. This even says that they have no worth. Couldn't this be about the abuse? Yeah, verbal abuse, it said. Madarame will keep them around as long as they're useful to him. But the moment they're not... He's treating them like slaves or tools! Why is Yusuke keeping quiet about this? He's got no reason to cover this up! Actually, I think he does. Because he's nowhere... Like you said, he has nowhere else to go if Madarame kicks him out. He did say 
that he owes Madarame his life for being taken in. Mm. But still! When we were at the exhibit, I praised one of the pieces on display. But... Kitagawa-kun acted strange. Maybe that piece was plagiarized too. What's the call? Ain't this enough to target Madarame? Let's do this. That's what I'm talking about! Hold on, you two. We should hmm. confirm these facts with Yusuke once more. Confirm what, though? It means we should get solid evidence that such crimes actually took place. What a pain in the ass. Hmm. Besides, there's too much we don't know about Madarame yet. That is true. Mm, you're right. I'll try contacting Kitagawa-kun. I might be able to get the truth out of him if I accept his modeling offer. Wait, you're gonna do that? <laughs> you all better come with me, okay? I'm scared to go alone. All right, Aunt. We, we got your back. Famous, renowned artist, huh? Oh, this might be tougher than Kamoshida. Probably will. Well, we'll just prep ourselves until we get confirmation from Yusuke. This is our first mission as real Phantom Thieves. We're gonna succeed no matter what. The reason why Yusuke is hiding the truth, huh? Oh. Would you really forgive someone unconditionally if you owe your life to them? I'm not so sure anymore. What are you bringing this up for? According to Kitagawa-kun, Kitagawa Madarame isn't a problem. Is something wrong? Yeah, a little. I mean, I know Madarame is a bad person, but still. Maybe I'm so hesitant because I haven't actually met any of his victims. Yeah, I guess that part's totally different from what happened with Kamoshida. This might be an extreme line of thinking, but if an evil person isn't causing any trouble now, is there really a point in us stepping in? Well, it got a point. So we're gonna let Yusuke decide if Madarame is go worth going after or not? I don't know. If it were me, I'd never forgive that bastard. Let's see how Yusuke feels. Yeah, I guess we could talk some more after that. Okay, let's meet in Shibuya after school tomorrow. Alright. So I guess we can't do anything tonight? Yeah. Man, we have like no fucking freedom. <laughs> I feel like we don't have a lot of free time anymore. Oh. Yo. Hey, it's me. I can't, I just can't forgive Madarame. But what On said made me think. Yusuke, are we just a bunch of thugs? Probably. <sighs> I knew it. I'm gonna make him pay. It ain't like he thinks it is. It pisses me off just thinking about it. Good people have to put up with so much crap while shitty adults do whatever they want. It makes me sick. I'm not wrong, am I? We'll take them down. Yeah. Oh yeah. Don't tell on I called you, by the way. Seriously. See ya. Well, see you tomorrow. Alright, time to sleep. Sorry, May 17th. <laughs> oh. Alright, I contacted Kinagawa kun about modeling for him. Still waiting for his response. Thanks. I really have no idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model, though. Don't do anything. You know, in a way, you might just be right. Look, you don't gotta go all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get dirt on Madarame, remember? That is true. Sound like Kitagawa-kun wants, wants this to be a private picture of his, though. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know when he contacts me again. Alright. I got a response from Kitagawa-kun. Said he wants me to come over, come over after school today. Perfect. Probably changed his plans immediately just so he could get you over there. We need to find out from Kitagawa-kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Hmm. Hey, quiet down. That's the student council president. Oh, god damn it. Oh, Mako 
Hold on. Wait, why is she talking with Mishima? Come on, man. Yeah, she got a hold of Mishima today? Suck if she noticed us. Come on, let's split up. Okay, see you later. Oh man, she she's really getting on us, huh? Alright! Finally landed a big target. Come on, let's go get some dirt on Madarame. But man, on's late. Sorry. I was thinking about some things and didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? Hey. Don't you think Kitagawa kun has to be protecting Madarame? I mean they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Madarame's true nature. The only reason I can think of him doing that is doing that is that Madarame has something on him. Yeah, that's weird. Wait. But that's why we're going to check it out, right? You ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Hey. Something seemed different about her to you? Not at all. Hmm. Oh no. I feel like she's got more makeup on or something. Nope, I'm the same as always. Huh. Well, let's get going. Gotta talk to Yusuke. Kitagawa kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Okay, let's Once he go. finishes drawing and we get a little friend he gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Madarame. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Man, he gets so disappointed whenever he sees us. <laughs> Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the two of us? <laughs> We're here to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? <laughs> Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Huh? Aw, now you're making all feel sad. Is there a problem? No, not really. <laughs> well then, let's get started. Hey! Kitagawa-kun? Hmm. You hear her? Guess he's just too focused on the art. It's no use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? Seems like he's always on guard, though. How were we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Don't get caught. Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> this is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. All right, Morgana. Hmm. It's weird how flashy that door is. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? Hmm. <sighs> Are you done? It's no good. What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Oh, what's wrong, man? Oh, hell no! How many hours do you think you made us wait? I'm sorry. We had another reason for seeing you today. We needed to talk to you. It's about those rumors regarding your sensei. This again. And that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... I knew it. Your sensei seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. Mm. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? 
I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. Don't misunderstand me, though. Hmm. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Dude, still. <sighs> Kitago-kun. Then why are you sticking around? Where else is he gonna go? All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. And the other pupils? I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! Oh, he's calling the cops. I'm reporting you to the police. Oh, great. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. Sweet. What the F, man? Ryuji, stop it! Yeah, come on, Ryuji. Y you gotta calm, calm down. Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you, but only under one condition. Never come back and stop asking about your sensei? What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. Without us. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you are willing to bear everything to me... Um... Uh... I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! Oh, god damn it. What?! <laughs> nude?! Ah... Uh, to think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. Oh, jeez. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some... inconveniences. Nude? Meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? <laughs> because those are my terms. Oh, God. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? Sensei is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely. I should buy more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? <laughs> uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. I'll make time according to your plans, but please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean! Why are you not listening? Oh. Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. Oh, boy. No, no, no. We are not done talking here. <sighs> hey, what should we do? Uh, we have to leave. Yeah, damn it. You got us good this time. Don't give up so easily! <laughs> <laughs> what else can we do? Is she done being a model? Oh, more. Oh, if only Morgana was here to react to that. A cat? Oh. You moron! <laughs> oh, I can't believe I forgot about Morgana. He's totally out of his mind! <laughs> I'm gonna have to post nude if this keeps up! <laughs> How dare that, Yusuke! The way he said it, it's not going to be semi, but full-on nude. Uh, 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 full nudity? Uh, Lady On's gonna... Morgana? Drop it! <laughs> you know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. That's true. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. 
is there a need to make Madarame confess? What about the other victims, On? Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? <laughs> I am not! <laughs> Madarame's no different from Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. Mm. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? No. It is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself, with Kamoshida. Mm. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses too, before he ends up like us. Yeah. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, too. That's true. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. <laughs> there's that, too. Kitagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? Oh god. <laughs> are you not confident? What? Are you saying I'm... Uh, no, I mean... That's not what this is about! <laughs> <laughs> we must deal with Madarame. No matter what. Before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. Mm. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarama's place, too. Hmm. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Yeah, might as well. Your hideout has moved from the Shuchin Academy rooftop to the Shiba Takeyu building access way. Can I talk to you kids for a sec? Hmm? Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. Uh... <laughs> oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. Aha! Uh -huh. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? Ryuji knows. Me? I don't know nothing! I see. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? All right. See you then. I guess we should go home for today. <sighs> Whatever, I still can't forgive him. Demanding to paint Lady on nude and then claiming to report us to po the police. <laughs> Hey, it's me. Got a minute. I have some interesting news. Uh oh. Actually, someone who received a change of heart contacted me on the fan site. Said he wants to meet with you in person to discuss another person who needs a change of heart. Another change of heart? You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is tar all I know is his target is a terrible person. That it might complicate things if he posted the name online. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is Nakano Hara. Hmm. Oh shit! Yo, Nakano Hara. I told him to approach you. See you. Good luck. Ooh. Found out something insane about Madarame. Sounds like a student of his offed himself when he couldn't speak up about Madarame stealing his work. Oh shit! Student commits suicide. That's unforgivable. The journalist was looking into Madarame too. It could be real. 
someone died though. No one's talking about it. I bet it was covered up. I wonder if Kitagawa kun has heard anything. It'd be great if he could help us out. Ain't that asking a bit much? After today, he's probably gonna be on edge about us. Well anyway, Mabarami is still a piece of crap. Let's meet up tomorrow. It'll be our first time at the new hideout. It's that passageway in Shibuya, right? Got it. See you guys tomorrow. If the rumor Yuji just spoke of is true, there have to be other victims. Yeah. Alright, so... Oh, just we're this. going to end the episode here, guys. In the next one, we're going to go meet with Nakano Hara again. Well, in real life this time. And we're going to try to find out what he knows about Madarame. So, I'll see you guys then. Bye!